Hello, my friends, and welcome to a lesson about the parts of the insect. I bet when you were outside looking around, you found all sorts of insects, maybe big insects, small insects, furry insects, strange insects, and maybe some dangerous insects, too. Well, I hope you were able to identify some, maybe draw some, write about them. And if you did, why don't you grab one of those drawings of those insects and let's look at the parts and label them together. And, you know, if you weren't able to do that, you can print out the example that I made of one of the insects I found. And uh, you know what? When we're done labeling it together, you can go find some insects, draw another one, and then label it. Hey, you might even find that the parts are a little bit different. Well, let's start by giving this bug some color. Let's grab some beautiful pencils, color in your insect if you haven't yet, and then let's check back and label it. All right. And I bet all of your insects look a little bit different and have all sorts of amazing colors. Yeah, mine was mostly sort of a purpley black. Very dark, very simple. But they come in all sorts of shapes, sizes, and colors as you found out. So let's talk about the parts of an insect. And there are three main parts to an insect that you'll notice they almost all have. Really, they should all have these three parts. And the main part, well, you have one too. It's the head. So let's go ahead and draw a line and we can label it as the head. Connecting the head to the back end of the insect is this middle section here called the thorax. And that back part of the insect that the head is connected to by the thorax is called the abdomen. The abdomen holds all of the insect's inner organs. Okay, well, there's some other things that they have too. They use their legs to move. So we can go ahead and just grab a couple of those and label them. and lots of different kinds of legs on different kinds of insects. Insects also have eyes. And there are two kinds of eyes that many insects will have, either simple eyes or compound eyes. Compound eyes allow them to see things all over the place. Ooh, they also have to eat, so they do have a mouth. And there are different kinds of mouth parts for different insects to have depending on what they might eat. They also have an extra set of sensory organs called antenna. And the antenna allow them to feel and sense and communicate as well depending on the type of insect. Sometimes it can be like an extra pair of eyes or ears. Now something else insects will have would be wings, although this one doesn't have wings the way we think of them. These wings are hard and fused together, and on this insect they're called elytra. But on yours, you may have actual wings. So please, if you have wings, label those as wings. If you have a beetle like mine that has fused hard wings, you can label them as elytra. This specific type of insect does not fly, but it gets around pretty well. Now, insects don't have bones like we do. We have some squishy parts on the inside and squishy parts on the outside a little bit, and then those hard bones on the inside. But insects have all of their squishy bits on the inside, and the whole outer bit of their body is very hard. We call that the exoskeleton. Exo means outside, and skeleton, well, that's the support structure. It is an outside support structure for insects to protect them. 
And these are, ha, let's use a different color for this part, the parts of the insect. As I said, now that you know these, if you used one of my sheets, go out and find yourself some insects to draw. Maybe you can find several and compare them. Do they have all of these parts? Do they look all the same? It might be interesting to get a whole sheet covered with insects labeled. You could make a journal even. But if you did spend time writing and drawing about them earlier, go back and look at those drawings and see what you can find. All right, friends, I'll see you out on the field.